I like the tussle in the comments that I am not on the cold side. I'm not on any one side. I'm merely just a nurse who has a nursing channel and I speak about things that's happening in the nursing community. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. This is your girl Kristen, AKA Bev, your favorite nurse Bay. On my channel, we talk about all things nursing, lifestyle, being a wife and mom, and entrepreneurship. Well, this video is a follow-up slash update video to the video I did a couple weeks ago about the um, nurse who was driving the black BM, um, Mercedes Benz that killed six people in LA. And um, as we knew from that video, from her first appearance in court, that her lawyer, her team, already planned to use mental health as her defense. Well, new documents has come to light. Um, I got this article off of Daily Mail and it states um, about a couple of things about how Nicole was diagnosed in 2018 with bipolar. This alleged diagnosis came from a document that Nicole's sister Camille submitted recapping how Nicole has been struggling with mental health for the past four years. I'll just give you guys a quick a summary of what the article states. So in the article it states back in 2018 um, allegedly Nicole was diagnosed with bipolar and this is how she became diagnosed. Um, in 2018, she was studying to become a nurse anesthetist. And according to her sister, the, it was too much stress and it broke her, which a episode happened where she was at her house and she had a panic attack and she ran outside into the streets. Somehow the police was contacted and when the police showed up, Nicole jumped on top of the police car and ended up getting arrested. This is all allegedly. Listen, I was not there. So please don't come in the comments for me. But anyways, just have to throw that out there because y'all be wanting to tussle. And I, I'm just a messenger. I'm just recapping the articles that's on the internet for each and every one of you to find. Thank you. Anyways, disclaimer over. Well while being arrested or while she was um at the police station it, on her first call home she wasn't on the phone screaming mama daddy i'm scared i'm arrested no the family states that she was more concerned about her pet turtle than she was about herself that was i then she went on to say that she was possessed by her dead grandma. Then, within the following days, they said she went on a rant about the police, the Supreme Court. She banged her head on um, something and had to get stitches. And that's when she got her first diagnosis of by being bipolar, per the article. Fast forward to the next year, Nicole ended up being involuntarily admitted to another psych hospital or psych ward in the hospital. So the next year when she was admitted to the psych ward, it was alleged that, all of this is alleged, I have to keep saying that. But anyway, so they stated that her neighbor ended up calling her family or the police because Nicole was running around the complex butt naked. So that ended up getting her admitted to a psych ward involuntarily. Fast forward to 2020, the beginning of the pandemic, Nicole sought out a telepsych doctor. Telly means, um, and the Telly doctor told her that she was not bipolar, that she was suffering from anxiety. 
And when they gave her that new diagnosis, that is when Nicole stopped taking her medication. She refused to take it. And she said it's because that doctor told her that it was from her having anxiety and not being bipolar. So over the course of two years, Nicole's mental health deteriorated per her family. She became um, more accusatory of her family from stealing from her. Um, up into recent days, it drastically got worse. Nicole was blaming her coworkers or stating that her coworkers and her family were being weird. She wasn't sleeping and that she became obsessed with being cleaning, like cleanliness. In this document, it goes on to say that her sister states that the day of the crash, Nicole left work and went home on her lunch break where she FaceTimed her butt naked. Then Nicole went back to work post lunch break it ended up leaving work again, and that time she FaceTimed her sister, stating that she was flying out to Houston tomorrow, the next day, to come do her niece's hair, and that she was going to get married, and that her sister needed to meet her at the altar. So, that was at like 1.49. I don't know. I'm going to put the timestamp on the screen. I can't fully recall. Y'all don't remember. I read the article. I'm just giving y'all a recap. And... That's when the um and that's when the crash occurred where six people were killed. Um so the doctor at the hospital who examined Nicole has also agreed that she is suffering from bipolar disorder and that Nicole suffered from an apparent loss of consciousness during the time of the crash her lawyer is now um requesting that she gets the three hundred thousand dollar bill that she be released with an ankle monitor and that she seek treatment at like a neuroscience or a psychiatric hospital that's what her lawyer and her team is requesting I want to open up the floor for some dialogue. Me, my first question. I got a couple questions. I have a couple questions. Who is responsible for your mental health? I want to know. Who's responsible? Um, back in 2018, when they said that she got arrested, did Nicole tell the board of nursing? And I'm asking because yes, if you get arrested, you are supposed to submit that to the board of nursing. Point blank period. I don't care what nobody got to say. That is the rules. That is the ethical boundary that you are supposed to do. When she applied for a license in California, was it told about her history and being arrested? I'm not talking about her specific mental health. I am talking about her specifically being arrested. Um, my third question, do y'all think that the telepsych doctor is liable or will be held liable? Because all of this is alleged. Her sister alleged, like, I don't know, obviously it's not my job. It is her team's job to find this doctor so that they can explain their diagnosis or misdiagnosis. But do y'all think the doctor's gonna be held liable for misdiagnosing her and having her stop taking her medicine, which made her go into this um, psychosis? Or let me not, let me, let's scratch the psychosis because I'm not a doctor, I can't, can't diagnose. Um, and is Nicole's sister now liable? Because I would go to bed for my sister too. I'll be writing all the letters, trying to be a characteristic for my blood sister as well. But given you knowing your sister's mental health background and your sister's mental health history, y'all let this go on for two years. If my sister 
who I know has been Baker acted, diagnosed with bipolar, taken away and was told she has anxiety and the in a time that she had an anxiety attack she ended up having to be arrested when that sister calls me butt naked should i hang up and call 911 i'm gonna let this sister that i know have this type of history go back to care for people at the bedside as a nurse that's Who's responsible for that? Because I'm the sound mind person and I wouldn't want, I don't care. Now this is me, this is Kristen. I don't want someone taking care of me or my family members if they mental not right. As nurses, we are life changing. Yes, she still ended up killing people on the road. But that could have very well have been someone at the hospital. You, you follow me? Is that, now let's go back it up to hypothetical. Is it partly her sister's fault for not calling 911? Like we all have this duty in mankind to probably intervene when we see something ain't right. Because I love my sister just that much. I know she needs to go get help. Even if she is having anxiety, maybe she needs to go get some anxiety medication and calm down a little bit and get some sleep because somebody had to have known that the lady wasn't sleeping for her for it to be in this affidavit for or this letter or this document that was, I don't know the lawyer terms, but in this document that was submitted to the court, this legal document. So someone knew she wasn't sleeping. So when you FaceTime me butt booty naked in the middle of the day telling me you on your lunch break, should I get you some help? You need to go to the hospital, get a little Advan or something to help you sleep, calm your anxiety, get you some rest so that you can think clearly. Because anyone not sleeping isn't thinking clearly. A person bipolar, anxiety, or normal, if you're not sleeping, then you aren't thinking correctly. So who is responsible? Because if Nicole isn't in her right mind and that's the defense we're going with, who then becomes responsible for her? If we, here's another question. If I, hypothetically, if I battle with mental health and I'm a nurse, we all talk about our mental health and how we got to put our mental health first. And I'm feeling like this is stressing me out. Am I now at fault for not stopping working? Am I at fault for not pulling myself to the side and saying, hey, I need to take a break, break this contract and let my recruiter know, hey, sis or bro, right now, my mental health ain't where it needs to be for the safety of myself and for the safety of my patients. I have to quit this assignment or I have to take two weeks off and see if they'll let me come back because I am no good here. At what point are we going to start holding someone responsible for this? And that's the battle that we have in healthcare with the mental health system is because sometimes we act too late. And I'm meaning we as everybody collectively, not me, because I think I might have to say this a hundred times because y'all like to tussle in the comments that I am not on the cold side. I'm not on anyone's side. I'm merely just a nurse who has a nursing channel and I speak about things that's happening in the nursing community. And I really want to have a legit conversation about where is the line to where mental health and who is responsible for me having good mental health. I would like to say, once I know I have been diagnosed, I don't know because I don't have mental health, but just in my thinking, I would like to know that once I've been diagnosed with something, then now it's my responsibility. Up until the moment I'm diagnosed, because before I don't know. But once I know, I have some kind of responsibility in that. 
as a sister or a family member of someone I love, mental health is not a choice. If something is chemically wrong with my sister, my daughter, my son, my husband, because that's mine too, it's my response. I personally feel it's my responsibility to intervene when I feel that things ain't right. Especially given that I know that, like my husband is a truck driver and I know he ain't sleeping and that he's having some mental stuff going on i'm not about to let him get behind a 16 wheeler a three-ton truck i'm not gonna do it but that's just me and my opinion and i'm not saying that i don't have any kind of sympathy towards nicole i don't know the lady but this story has a lot of holes a lot of twists and turns so i look forward to seeing how this story develops because I feel like this is going to be pivotal in the healthcare community because I know a couple of my co-workers have been admitted for Baker Acts because some people can't handle divorce or I know a co-worker whose son committed suicide yes he had to be Baker Acted but he did the necessary things he had to do to get himself back better and he is one of the best nurses that I know um I know a co-worker of mine who had a divorce, six children. That is a lot to deal with. Getting a divorce after giving this man six children and now you're a single mom, that's not the life you plan for yourself. So yes, I can understand. She's getting the help she needs. She don't come to work when she got stuff going on. I mean, like I said, I don't know all of this stuff because it seems like there is a lot of twists and turns in this Nicole Linton story but I have personally worked side by side with people who go through stuff after having children I went through postpartum granted I never was really postpartum depressed but I went through episodes of just randomly crying thankfully Everything worked out well for me, but I'm just saying not everyone is that lucky and at what point is it someone's responsibility to get the mental health checked out? Drop your comments down below. If y'all tired of this type of content, tell me so I don't have to keep researching it. If y'all want to continue to have open dialogue about this case, please let me know down in the comments because I really would like to see how this goes.